All right, what is going on, guys? So good to be here with you today. Today, we're gonna be jumping in and looking at some hair cringe. We're gonna be analyzing some of the newest videos that I see on YouTube, how these hair systems are looking to see if they are uh, good, if they're bad. And also, mostly, this video is really just about learning, right? So that way we can see things that we can improve inside of our own hair system, our own style. So. Let's jump into the video. I haven't actually watched any of these videos right now and um, we'll see what's going on, shall we? All right, so this first one right here, it looks like it's out of Pakistan, it looks like. Um, so we see this gentleman right here is suffering from some pretty severe uh, hair loss, probably Norwood, what, is that seven? Someone correct me in the comments what it is. Um, I'm gonna skip forward a little bit. Looks like this one might actually be hair clips. Um, let, let's go back and see just real quick again. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Look at right there. See, there's a hair clip right there. And then there is one right there that he's installing and one right there. Now, I actually haven't worn any of these systems before. I've never actually experienced them, so I can't really speak from experience, um, whether or not that they're great, how realistic they are, I kind of feel like it would be really nice to not have to deal ever with any adhesives, any tape or anything like that though. So definitely something I think that would be worth a try. Now let's kind of get an overall look. I think this is fairly decent. Um, one of the things that I look for, right, is like right here where my cursor is, generally there's an indent from where the hair system hair is to the natural hair as if it's almost like a mushroom top um, because there's either too much density or there's not really enough blending. It doesn't look like that's a problem here. I think it looks pretty good actually. And it's interesting to see the uh, the hair clips in action. I haven't seen a ton of that. I'm, I'm aware of them, but I haven't seen a ton of them. All right, so let's take a look at this next video right here. It looks like this right here is, I don't know what country this is. Okay. So looks like they are cutting it with a pair of scissors um, and they're doing it kind of like at an angle. I've seen a lot of hairstylists, they'll do like this. Um, if you're a hairstylist and you're watching this video, actually correct this for me. But when you take the hair and you actually cut into it like this right here, so that way you don't have that blunt edge, um, looks like he's doing something similar to that, but and that'll probably give it like a little bit of pieciness to blend into the natural hair, but it does look like he has quite a thick, thick unit. Like if we look right here, this is a solid black line. Like there's, there's so much density there. All right, we're getting pretty close to the final result now. So let's look. Ooh. I'm not crazy about this right here. So uh, in the last video, right, we talked about that mushroom top and this is like an exacerbated version of that, right? Like, so look at right here where my mouse is. We see this major like floof and then it comes down here, makes an indent. And this is just a, such an unnatural shape for hair to lie in that it, it just doesn't look like it's real. It looks kind of like it's stuck on and no offense to this gentleman, but you know, there's a lot better options out there. And, and even if you have uh, short hair on the sides, like one of the ways that you can augment this and make it a little bit better is you can take some of this longer hair, lay it down on the side over the top. Still not my favorite look, but it will soften this whole appearance right here. It's just, that's a super card crazy edge right there that um, don't recommend you have that look. Looks great from this side profile though. So video three, here we go. Looks like this is another clip-in video. Um, man, I, I think I almost gotta like give this thing a try or something. Kinda seems like it's cool. This is actually pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so it looks like he's edging up his natural hair here. Um, but it, it looks fairly good. Um, like on this side, at least, it looks like great blending. Um, really, really, matches his natural hair very well. The question is, how does it look on the other side? Because it's always on the side of the part that the hair tends to look a little unnatural. So so with this video right here, we can't actually really tell how that other side of his head looks. Like it's very easy 
for the system to look really good on the side that it's parted over, or excuse me, that is being pushed over like right here. However, if you look over on this side, um, this is the, the, always the side that requires like more work and it's not as good. Um, right now I haven't taken a shower, so my hair is kind of a mess probably, but that's the thing. Like it's not the side that the hair is swept to. It's always, always, always the side that the hair is parted from. All right, let's jump into this next one right here, shall we? So it looks like this gentleman's getting a shave down right now. Standard issue shave down. Now this looks like the density is going to be pretty, pretty thick. We can see right here, like the wall of hair on the back. Once again, he is of, um, looks like Middle Eastern descent, maybe um, Indian, don't know exactly. But uh, this is definitely a lot of volume and a lot of hair up top. And he does have some volume here on the side, excuse me, he has density right here, but I don't think it's gonna be to the level that it's really going to look appropriate. So let's see what happens. This is really interesting. He's just like blunt cutting it, I think is the terminology. Maybe that's just like the first phase of the haircut here. Looks like he's creating a line um, for the hair. So unless they actually are not showing some of the, the hair cutting that's supposed to happen, um, it looks like most of this was cut like at a perpendicular angle to the hair itself, which generally from what I've been learning about is really not the way to cut a hair system. You wanna use razors and you wanna actually add that kind of uh, PC end to it. So that way it kind of uh, blends into your natural hair a little bit better. Holy crap, that is some serious volume. <laughs> I don't know, it's a style I guess, but uh, not the most believable look that you will ever see in your entire life. And if you look at right here, right, it's just a solid wall of hair. Once again, with his descent, he can probably get away with it. It looks like there is a little bit of recession here built in, like um, a slight M shape, which I think adds a huge amount of value. Like, I think that helps so, so much. Also, one of the good things about the, the styling and the way that this hair system looks is if we look at the two sides, right, it actually looks like it was cut and styled so that way we don't get that mushroom top, that crazy kind of or No, these are a little bit smoother. That line is a little bit more natural, which really, really helps the appearance on this right here. So that is commendable and I think does help a lot and offsets the, um, the thick density of it. If you have a thicker density unit, you can get away with it, but you gotta be careful with how you style it, you know? All right, let's check out this one right here. So this guy looks like he wants to go for the man bun look. We'll see how that goes. So already you can see that this gentleman right here has a thinner density unit than uh, the other units. Uh, just by like the weight in the front, it's probably maybe like 130% density, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, but this pieciness up front looks a lot more believable. However, when it's, when it's dried out, it's still very, very thick. Now, to be honest, I really don't hate this look. Like it's, it's okay because the haircut is a little bit shorter. Um, let's go back. And you know, as he's like messing around with it, like you can see it's not like, like it, it doesn't have that crazy volume look. Like this looks like it could be someone's actual hair and he has a lot of density on the sides. So I think that like he's definitely able to pull off this look. Um, I would probably like to see, I, ideally, like this is just picking at it, but I would like to see a, probably a little bit more recession right here. Uh, to match this but overall to me this looks a lot better um i think that if you're gonna have an extreme density like that you can also get away with it when the hair is a little bit shorter um you know with fades and, and things like this you can kind of mask the def density difference um so i think that works all right let's go into the last one here this one is a more european style which we don't get a lot of these right here that we get to critique because a, a lot of them i find are they're a little bit more sensitive, sensitive to the densities of the hair. And, um, you know, there's some that aren't done fantastic, but most of them are done. I think they cost a little bit more money to do. Um, and the quality is a little bit higher, but so it looks like this gentleman right here, like the density doesn't look like it's too thick. It looks fairly, fairly thin. So that's, that's a good start, right? Um, it looks like the hair on the side of his head is cut pretty short. And I like the fact 
that what we got right going on right here is it just it looks so it looks pretty oh oh what is that what is this crazy line right here um i did like it oh my god guys <laughs> um this is really really bad first off first off this line is not it doesn't have a nice shape to it but number two like what is going on this looks like it was literally just like flopped on top of his head not really a good look um if any barbers are down below please let me know like what is going on with this and why this haircut looks not appropriate i actually don't know the exact reason here but we can even see it around the back like it's just it's so apparent like you can see that this right here is exactly where his hair system is it's so obvious i don't know i don't have the answer for that one if you are a hair stylist please let me know what's going on with that one right there but thanks guys this right here is another episode of hair cringe where we look at some of the hair systems that are being presented on youtube and we talk about them not to criticize them but to get better and to see what works what doesn't work and that way we can all look better together we'll see you soon